Hi everyone, Liz Danoon here. Formal school methods don't work for many children and when this is the case, you're the key to your child's school success. Today, I'm going to show you how to do this. Today is all about teaching reading. I'm going to give you a very quick lesson so you can help your child specifically. So, strap yourself in and let's get ready to learn. There is an important set of skills that your child needs to have to be able to break down words to read and spell them. These skills have a logical order. It's a bit like having all the tools you need to build a house. If your child is missing a skill, they will have gaps in their learning, which means they can't move forward. These skills allow children to break down larger words into their smaller parts and then know which spelling rules to apply when a word can't be sounded out. The first skill is to understand that there are 26 letters in the alphabet. There are five vowels. Here they are here. A, E, I, O and U and 21 consonants which represent all the other letters. Now, some of this may seem a bit basic, but beware, there is also the letter Y, which is a consonant, but pretends it's a vowel in many words, like these ones, gypsy, type, and by. Skill number two is to know that each letter of the alphabet represents sounds in words, and this relationship between letter symbols and their sounds is known as phonics. Let me show you the word phonics. Reading experts would agree there are approximately 46 sounds that can be made from our alphabet letters. So for example, k as in coat is one phoneme and k as in character is also one phoneme, even though this time there are two letters making the sound k. Let's look further now at the word coat. K, O, T. We would say that the word coat, when broken down using phonics, has three phonemes. K is one, O is two, and T is three. Getting your child to understand phonics and phonemes is a big part of being able to decode words. Use dots above letters. Circles, colours or concrete materials like blocks to represent each phoneme in words. Now for skill number three. Let's look at syllables. Here's how you spell it here. Again, this is another way we break down words to read and spell them. Let's look at the word ambulance. Put your hand under your chin and say the word along with me. Am, you, le. How many times did your hand drop? I hope you're going to say three because the word ambulance has three syllables. Another point to add here is that every syllable must have a vowel. That's right, every syllable must have a vowel. And don't forget about tricky Y. It can also be the vowel. Like in this word, bystander, you can see the Y making that I sound at the beginning of that word. Here is skill four. There are about 100 commonly used words that make up about 25% of all the words we use in the English language when we're speaking, reading and writing. Words like these ones. Look here. I and, but, who, it, in, and if. Do a Google search and you will find all sorts of common word lists, but they're pretty much the same. Focus on helping your child to learn these 100 words first and you will be giving them access to 25% of all words used when reading and spelling. This will provide them with a huge head start 
on the reading process. Here is skill number five. Vowels can have a long or a short sound in words. It is a good idea to find a way to visually represent this. Let me give you an example. In this word, map, the A has a short sound, a. Ah. We can show it like this, A with a short dash saying a. Ah. However, in the word April, the A has a long sound. We can show it like this, an A with a long dash saying A. You can see we're using colour and symbols. So lots of visual cues to assist the learning process and help your child to remember what they're learning. So you can see that the English language can be a little bit tricky for our children to learn. Here are three more short steps for you to use to help your child to learn to read and write. Let's move forward now with skill six. There are many vowel combinations and spelling rules in the English language. These impact on how vowels sound in words. Using colour and symbols really helps to provide visual cues as to how to sound those vowels when reading. In the words here, have a look. Mean, machine and bean. All the E sounding vowels are saying E, the long E sound, straight away just by looking at the colour and the symbol I've used, you know it's going to be the long E vowel sound. Here is skill number seven. It is important to explain to your child that there are common letter patterns in words that make specific sounds. Teaching your child to understand this is really important. The English language can be so frustrating until they gain an understanding of the system and it is a system. Your child will soon come to recognise common letter patterns. For example, the sound sh can be made using these letters, s and h. We call these common letter patterns letter blends. But there are other common letters that make this sound. In sugar, the S says sh. In potion, the T-I says sh. In magician, it's the C-I that says sh. Make sure all of your child's spelling lists highlight words with common letter patterns. This makes the words easier to learn and remember. Now, let's supercharge the speed of your child's reading with skill number eight. This is the icing on the cake. Reading practice makes perfect. And one of the best ways to do this quickly is with speed training. Find a suitable passage of text that's right for your child's level. As a guide for one A4 page of text, they shouldn't make any more than 20 reading errors. Make sure it's on a topic that your child finds interesting. My son loves soccer, so I found a magazine that he loves and used a passage out of that. When you've found something that they like, get your child to read the same passage five days in a row, out loud. Listen to them and if they make a mistake, correct them and get them to repeat the correction straight after you. Remember, it must be the same passage and five days in a row. Time them and record their time on a graph. After five days are up, choose a different passage and repeat the same exercise. Over time, you will see amazing results. Watch their confidence, speed and reading skills increase straight away. So that's it. You now know the eight key skills your child needs to learn to read and spell. We've gone through the process of breaking words down into their individual phonemes and syllables and we used visual prompts to remember vowel combinations and common letter patterns. Then we looked at how your child can practice what they learn 
by using speed training techniques. So for now, use the techniques I've given you and start your child on the path to enjoy learning, being able to read and have the confidence within themselves to not only keep up with their peers, but also to excel. Until then, let me know your progress in the comments box below. Bye for now.